Hey guys, my name is Ashton and I'm going to do my cultural speech over the stethoscope. So the stethoscope is a medical device that is used generally by doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals. They use it predominantly to perform checks on the heart and lung functions. These checks are called auscultations. Thanks to a stethoscope, medical professionals can easily hear if your heart or lungs function properly. It was invented in France by the French scientist René Lenec in Paris. This innovation came from necessity. He felt uncomfortable placing his ears on a woman's chest in order to listen to heart sounds. As a result, he decided to come up with a device that would add a little bit more distance between him and his patients. Stethoscopes as we know them today are arguably the most recognizable piece of medical equipment out there. They are the sign of medical professionals. Studies have also shown that images of people in lab coats get a huge bump in confidentiality if they have a stethoscope draped around their neck. Automatically, people associate stethoscopes with the trustworthiness of a doctor or nurse. There are three main types of stethoscopes, acoustic, electronic, and fetal. The acoustic is probably the best known stethoscope type. They operate on the transmission of sound from the chest piece to the listener's ears via air-filled hollow tubes. The chest piece usually consists of two sides that can be placed on the patient's chest, a bell and a diaphragm. If the diaphragm is placed on the patient's chest, acoustic airwaves are produced by the vibration of the plastic diaphragm, which travels through the tubing to the listener's ears. If the bell is used, then the vibrations are directly transmitted to the listener's ears. The diaphragm is used to hear high frequency sounds, while the bell best delivers low frequency sounds. Both are necessary to conduct a full scale auscultation. The electronic stethoscope converts analog sound signals into digital ones. The big benefit of electronic stethoscopes is that you can store a patient's auscultation to form a base file of that patient. You will always have a future reference to go to if you hear or find something out of place. A fetal stethoscope or a fetoscope looks a lot like the old listening trumpet. The device works by placing one end of the stethoscope on the pregnant woman's abdomen. This allows the listener to listen to the heartbeat of the fetus. A fetoscope is also called a pinnard horn after the French obstetrician Aldolphe Pinnard. And now I'm going to show you my stethoscope because I just finished nursing school so that's why this topic is very important to me. And this is my stethoscope and you just you place these little rubber things in your ears like that and then you'll use the diaphragm which is this side you use the diaphragm to listen to heart sounds lung sounds and then you can also twist it which is the back which is the bell and then you can also listen to heart sounds with the bell and the diaphragm like i said was the high pitch sounds that you can hear and then the bell is the low pitch sounds that you can hear better with that. So that is the stethoscope and why it is important to the nursing field and the medical field in general. Thank you.